Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Insane Aquarium. You guys actually, like, are blowing my mind with the amount of people that want me to play this. I love Insane Aquarium, dude. I'm gonna keep on doing it, but this is still so stupid. I I'm gonna stick with the dream team of Prego, Clyde, and Vert. Little Uzi Vert. Uh, and we're gonna hop back in here. I've been getting some comments that have, uh... Been telling me a lot of stuff I already know, and stuff that I remember from my childhood. You guys gotta keep in mind, I've played through this entire game, like, probably six or seven times in my life. It's just the fact I haven't done it in, like, probably nine years uh, that I'm struggling right now. Clyde, I got that one for you, buddy. Uh, one thing is that we always talk about how horrible Prego's sound is. If we type in Super Mega Ultra into the keyboard right now, then the Ultra Prego sound gets enabled, and this is just gonna be like frightening whenever she pops out a child. So that's one thing. Another fun thing is to type space, and now we're in space, uh, and then we'll re-type space and get that back to normal, but bunch of weird stuff. Yeah, so that's Prego sound when she pops out a kid now. I don't think we need that in our life though, so I'm just gonna nonchalantly turn that off. I'd like to increase the amount of food I'm dropping, please. So we can continue on this journey. I think that maybe the star catchers are a st like valid strategy for us. Uh, I think that getting a ton of guys as star uh, star children, children of the star. I, I don't know. Type D. This is just a normal alien, no? Uh, who are you? Oh, this guy fires rockets, and we can destroy the rockets. I do vaguely remember this dude. He's got a lot of HP though. So we'll we'll knock him out. And we get a little, uh, a nice little thing from him. That worked out fine. He's a little frightening, I'm not gonna deny, but nothing that your boy can't handle right now. The goal is let's get ourselves a ton of fish, uh, get a good amount of money rolling, and then we'll start to convert them to starfish, uh, potion-y starfish. I suppose saying we're gonna convert them to starfish is actually, like, just totally wrong because starfish are actually a fish. But, uh, we'll convert them to fish that drop stars, and then that will allow us to get some good stuff crack a lack in here. Prego, you're very much so helping me populate the economy, and, and, and I love you for it. You're a beautiful human being. I mean, with looks-wise, you're not the most beautiful human being, but you're beautiful in the heart, and that's what matters, Prego. The amazing marinara sauce fish. Okay, let's, let's just max out food uh qua quantity here we almost got it maxed max beautiful and now we'll start just spawning in a freaking butt ton of fish that's the goal butt ton of fish then stars then star catchers and then we'll be uh sitting pretty type d this is gonna be the uh little dude again there he is push him to the bottom right hopefully away from this fish? Dude, just get away from him. Now, how dumb are you? There's a killer robot in your tank. Get the hell away from him. Okay. We are fine. Let's spawn in 10 fish. And by spawn, I mean magically birth in the beauty of childbirth. Some fish into our lives. And then once they're grown, we'll start converting uh, these guys over to starfish. And that'll be fun. Except for the fact that I accidentally just put one in. So, now, you get to eat. Please don't have that guy eat it. Okay, well, a little bit unfortunate. In every good fish, there deserves to be at least, like, every good fish tank, there deserves to be at least, like, one or two good deaths. <laughs> Is that a true fact? I'm not positive that's a true fact. Except for there's those fish that are, like, beta fish or something like that. That they'll just fight the crap out of everything in the tank. Which you'd think you would call them alpha fish, but... Those guys are metal, dude. I don't know about them. Okay, we are getting a lot of money right now. And it's gonna be time to start feeding potions for sure. Because these guys are almost all grown. We got one more feeding cycle until I feel comfortable doing that. Robot fish is easily the easiest to- Robot, uh, alien is the easiest to deal with. 
Because we just click on his little uh, missiles and everything will be okay. There's probably a reason why they gave us uh, Krusty the Crab in the last one. Because he would fight this guy in the bottom of the tank and be useful. Okay, these guys are all growing up now. Next feeding cycle, y'all are getting uh, potions. So get hyped. Okay, you grab that. Okay. And somebody will eat that, I'm sure. Somebody will eat that. Just put a bunch in. They'll get eaten. Beautiful. Now spawn in a bunch of them. Spawn in more star potions. We got a bunch of dudes that are stars now. And then we spawn in like two more of these guys. And this should be like enough to get an economy rolling here with stars. We just gotta make sure we pick up the uh, diamonds here. We almost need more star catchers. And while you're at it, chuck in some more potions. We want people that don't have potions to eat the potions, but here you go. Put, put in a couple more potions. I don't mind, like, more people being stars than we have uh, star catchers. That's also fine. The stars do give, like, a fine amount of uh, stuff. Okay, you're doing fine. So this guy doesn't actually kill anybody off. He just shoots the missiles. So I'm honestly like, he can do anything he wants in my book. We've got stuff left and right. We can actually afford like more star catchers. These guys get enough stars that it's a-okay. And they're popping out diamonds left and right. It's good. This is the economy we wanted. This is the ideal economy. It's 7500 for one egg piece. That's a lot of freaking money. Like, we're gonna be here for a little while. Let's just spawn in, like, a crap load more gups. The more gups we get... I, I'm, I'm losing diamonds, dude. The more gups we get, the more stars we get, the more stars we get, the more star catchers. And then from there, the more, uh, happiness. And I'm all about happiness. These guys need to grow. Have some more star catchers. While you're at it, have some potions. We killed a fish. It's an unfortunate death. Have a star potion. Here, fishies. Eat everything. Somebody go have a star potion. Okay, we're killing like a multitude of fish now. We also have a lot of freaking fish in this tank. Hello, Weewa. How are you doing? One of these days, he is going to uh, actually snag a victim, and it's going to be a sad day. I apologize if my clicking is triggering you. There's a lot of clicking in this game. A buttload of clicking, that's for damn certain. If you're enjoying the video, 25 likes and keep on going. So slap that like button right now if you're loving Insane Aquarium. I know I am. We might be able to afford this. Eh, yeah, we're close. It's just gonna be a couple more Diamondes here. And Star Catcher technique, I mean, it's proven to be pretty good now. I know I hated on it at first, but getting diamonds left, right, and center works out pretty damn okay. Who do we got here? Meryl the Mermaid. She cheers up all the guppies in the tank, making them drop coins faster. I vaguely remember this chick. I think we're going to try her out. Uh, we don't really need Prego anymore, so we'll rock these three. I think little Uzi Vert's still, uh, like, actually really good. And Prego helps keep the tank uh, regular, is what I'll, I'll say. I don't, <laughs> I don't really like the way I worded that, but... I do think Prego's good, and we might go back to her if uh, Meryl doesn't work out the way we want her to. I vaguely remember she actually does start singing a song, and then they all start dropping coins at like an alarming rate. Which does sound vaguely enjoyable. We'll let Clyde do his thing. Clyde can keep up with, uh... Yeah, there we go. 
So yeah, they drop coins like pretty fast when she does that. And when we get a lot of people uh, in the tank, that's going to be a lot of coins to drop. Slash a lot of stars, slash uh, a lot of whatever. We're probably going to get a, a weird array of aliens this time. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Mr. Munchy Munch back here. You know, the sandwich guy from Lilo and Stitch. Just loves to eat. Uh, okay, here you go, buddy. Here you go. Little Gupster. Little other Gupster. Thank you for dropping more money. Type G? Who is Type G? Type G is this guy. Alright. I mean, this is going to be a long fight. Dude, don't eat... Don't eat the fish, though! You know, buddy. Don't eat the fish. Eat the fish food. Fish are friends, not food, buddy. Fish are friends, not food. Eat the fish. Eat the fish food. Don't eat the fish. Eat the fish food. And don't you die on me. Okay. I mean, we lost, like, a lot of friends right there. I mean, it was actually really bad. But we'll come back. It was a dangerous despair of life seeing our friends die before our very own eyes, but... I believe we'll come back bigger, better, and stronger than before. I pride myself on that. And that we will do. Clyde, thank you very much, buddy. Let's upgrade that food quantity. Get these guys growing a little bit, uh... The quality, get these guys growing a little bit faster here. We'll get more quantity in due time. Meryl, start singing. We need you more than ever. And I need you more than ever. Total eclipse of the heart. Total eclipse of the tank. Maybe. Eh, like... I'm gonna call that one like a C tier. It wasn't good enough to be A tier. It was too bad to be B tier. It's a lot of money whenever she sings, though. Meryl's proven to be okay. Let's try to get ourselves more, uh... Let's start feeding him pills, actually. Here you go, buddy. Don't eat the fish! Don't eat the fish. Eat the food. There you go. Okay. We did lose one friend. We're feeling the effects of not having Prego in this tank. We're not getting that, uh... Influx of extra fish that we normally got from Prego. And there's something to be said for that. Uh, and there's a part of me that wants to maybe say goodbye to Clyde. You know, I can click coins. Clicking coins ain't difficult. Uh, does he help a little bit in doing the clicking? Yeah, of course he does. But we can always uh, replace him. And obviously we're not going to rock little Uzi Vert forever either. Uh, that guy's going to be gone probably here soon. We could replace him as well with uh, Prego. I just look at, you know, as a kid, I mainly went with the ones that I thought were the coolest and, like, looked the coolest. And probably the mermaid because she had boobs, but looking at it now, it's like Prego gives you a hundred coins benefit, like, at all times. That's a lot of benefit. Like, that screams worth it to me. And that's why I feel like that's the one to go with, but... Okay, we're at max. This guy should be a piece of cake now. Come down here. He's gonna eat that guy. I mean, we kind of sacrificed him to the dem dem Demigorgon. How about that? There's a reference. Sacrifice him to the Demigorgon. We're gonna get these guys, uh... All to full gold first. And then we'll worry about some potioning. Once they're all gold and then Meryl Streep starts singing, they're gonna be spewing out them money. Just as they did right there. That was actually like a lot of money. And they're all growing up right here. Get ready, eat some potions. Have a potion, buddy. Somebody go eat that potion? You don't want that potion? Well, how about you? Anybody want that one? Yeah, he's going after it. 
They want that potion. Have a star catcher, have another one. 10,000! Years can really give you such a crick in the neck. That's 10,000, uh, wild. Here, ha have a, have a potion. Eat and be happy. Give me three more star catchers. God knows we're getting enough damn stars. They should be able to easily sustain themselves. Got another type G coming in. Type G for that good dank food though. He did eat a fish. A willing sacrifice for sure. Uh, they're gonna die if they don't get some stars. Eat the freaking stars, buddy. They're gonna die. We lost one. Put two more in. Put another star in. Nobody ate the potion. Am I struggling this bad, like, right now because I'm bad at the game? It might be. We need more fish. Give me more fish. The problem is I don't want to, like, click on the stars, but then the stars reach the bottom and then we're stuck. Have two more star catchers. Who knows? Maybe we're at the limit for star catchers right now, but we seem to be doing okay. If they don't have enough stars to eat right now, I don't even know. Eat that. Thank you. Now that another guy starred. Beautiful. Alright, this is going swimmingly. We should be set to have a pretty easy life here soon. We can probably afford two more star catchers. We got stars going left and right. Just eat anybody but my fish. Okay, that worked out fine. What a peaceful tank. This might be the end of tank two? I don't know. Okay. A lot of money, a lot of clicking. Crap load of clicking. The game is basically... Instead of buying a clicking simulator, just buy this game. You'll get all your clicking needs taken care of. Don't even worry about it. This is nice and peaceful. I got a comment saying, Can you make more of these? It's great to uh, watch before bed. I, I didn't know whether to take that as an insult. That I'm putting you to sleep or uh, what, but... I would agree. This would be very peaceful to... Uh, Play or watch before bed. Give me all that money. We're about halfway done. I don't think I'm going to buy any more things here. I think we're just going to let life roll. God knows we're getting the diamond days and uh, things. I Man, I just bought another star catcher by accident, really. We've got enough stars. We've got enough coins. It's really just uh, on our way to a peaceful ending here. Unless this guy wipes out our entire tank. He landed in a real crap spot for us, but... Worked out fine. I love when Meryl Streep starts her singing. It's an absolute, uh... Beautiful array of beauty. Beautiful array of beauty? That's damn straight. It was a beautiful array of beauty, and you can't even deny it. Alright. Meryl Streep, sing the blues. Give me one more good one. Okay, we're, we're basically done. Bing, bang, and... Three, two, one. Boom. Who do we got? One new person is... Wadsworth the Whale. He helps by sheltering guppies and medium guppies from uh, hungry aliens. Wadsworth, you're never going to see the light of day, buddy. Bonus round, collect as many shells as humanly possible. Let's do it. I want all of them. I'm going to collect every single shell on this screen. How's that going? So far, so good, and then I totally botched it. At least collect the ones that are worth more. We can use these shells to buy things uh, in the game as well as in that uh, place thing and stuffs. That was a lot of shells, dude. 832 shells? We're only uh, 
We're only on our way to being 120th of the way to getting the bonus pet, so that's cool. And I believe that's gonna be uh, tank three. Let's just like do the normal trio. Yeah, tank three. Okay, so tank three is fun. We'll do tank three next time. 25 likes, I'll keep on playing. You know how it goes. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the series. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.